You all know Super Smash Bros. The video game where a whole bunch of game characters meet up in one game and you're able to fight. If you don't know what Smash Bros. is, what are you doing? So basically, this video, I'm going to be talking about what if Yokai Watch characters were in Smash Bros. So, the character I'm going to be going over in this episode of this potential series, I don't know if I'm going to make this a series or not. So what if Nate slash Katie... Or in Smash Bros. There, if you don't know, they're the main character of a series called Yokai Watch. If you haven't heard of that series, it is really good. And you should definitely play the games. Um, so um, let's just get into it. So Nate and Katie are going to be a uh, character similar to uh, how how you switch between them. It's going to be similar how to how you switch between female Pokemon trainer, male and female Pokemon trainer. That's pretty much. The basics of how to switch between them. It's not like an in-battle thing like Fire Slash Mithra. Um, but... So, anyways, let's just get to the move set. So, for the neutral special, it would be... They would wield the Yokai Watch Blaster from Yokai Watch 3. Well, the Yokai Watch Dream Blaster, I think it's called. And it would be similar to Shulk's uh, neutral special, to where he chooses... Uh, where there's a wheel and you can choose it, I'll just show it on screen. Smash. And so basically how it works is you choose one of the eight tribes, there will be a wheel for like, the eight tribes, and they all have, like, different effects. Like, the Charming is way faster, but it deals less damage. Brave is, uh, it's much bigger and slower, but it does a ton of damage. And then uh, Heartful will give the, your opponent the draining effect. Eerie will, like, uh, make their controls reversed. Uh, Mysterious will give them the fiery effect. And there are, like, a couple others that I don't know what to do with. Like shady and tough. Well, slippery. Uh, slippery would be homing, homing missiles, and then uh, for shady and tough, I have no idea what to do with those tribes. So um, if you think of anything, let me know in the comments. And so basically, that is the entire neutral special. And then after you choose one of them, you can fire those missiles for like about around fifteen seconds, and then you have to wait for the blaster to recharge before you can use it again. And that's pretty much it for the neutral special. And then for the side special, uh, it would have, it's, alright, so the side special is called Jibanyan Summon, and Nate quickly summons Jibanyan to do a quick pause of fury attack on the opponent, sent launching them. It's pretty basic, but I like this one a lot. It's just pretty basic. And for the down special, uh, Nate summons no way to do a counter attack, just your basic counter. And then for the up special, Nate will have will summon Robanyan, who will fly around him and pick him up and carry him around for like around about five seconds, and will carry him upward with its jetpack, which I think is pretty sick. But eh. And then his grab will Nate summons Nate will summon Leodoni to grab the opponent so that Nate can like whack him and punch him. Your basic grab stuff. So it'll be kind of like a tether grab. Yeah. And then, um... So for his A attacks, um, Nate will just, for his jab, Nate will just swing his hammer that he has from Yoko Watch 4 around. Pretty basic. And for his dash attack, he'll just use the momentum and whack opponents with the hammer. Pretty basic. And his shield is literally just a normal shield. And for his aerial attacks, they're pretty much just the same as Young Link's, except with a hammer. I'll show it on screen. And the same with his smash attacks, just Young Link's, but with a hammer. And then 
that's pretty much it for the move set. Oh yeah, I totally forgot the final smash. So the final smash, Nate will t take the Yokai Watch Dream and Dream Link it to the Enma Blade and do a giant slash like he does in Yokai Watch the Movie Three. And any opponents caught up with with it will take a lot of damage and they will get launched. So that's pretty much it for the move set. And then so his, the extra stuff like the taunts and stuff. So for his down taunt, Nate uses the Yokai Watch and searches around for Yokai a little bit. Uh, his side taunt, Whisper flies around Nate, giving him otherwise useless information about uh, his opponent. And his up taunt, Wazat eats Nate's me Wazat flies by and eats Nate's memories for leaving him temporarily dazed for a second. Yeah, and those are the taunts. And then the there's only like a couple differences between choosing Nate and Katie. As I said, they're just going to be bunched up into one character. And, um, so the only difference is the weapon. Nate will have his hammer from Yokai Watch 4, while Katie will have her paper fan thingy, I guess. So, that's pretty much the only differences. And, um, yeah, I think that wraps it up for the movesets of what their movesets will be. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below what, Sma what Yokai Watch characters you want to see me put in Smash Bros. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Peace.